What's up Team KBA, One Tick Traveler here, this is Last Shelter and you're joining us in a token shop May P2 Refresh. Now if you want to track the token shop and hero drops, then you can see in the video description and down below the article that I'm regularly updating or you can check out more Last Shelter resources on my website at onetechtraveler.com. To give you a recap, we started tracking it from April P2 and that was Valkyrie, Dissex Machina, Dragon's Rage and Viscount that was a hero set of four and since then we've had three heroes appear with may p1 featuring nomad alongside commissar and cincinnatus so if you picked him up in that one i think it was a, a very strong pick up for shooters and generally it's been weighted towards that uh, in may p2 we're kind of still seeing that with shooters being in this uh, but the next sx hero that is dropping in this refresh is crusher it's going to cost you 3000 whereas any pre-sx heroes is going to be 2400 Crusher is featured alongside S4 Hummingbird and S1 Professional, so one vehicle and two shooters. Question is, should you be dipping any of your tokens on them? Now, I have my Crusher maxed and uh, been running him alongside, mainly paired as my second or third APC uh, compared to my mixed combos or those that I sort of pair with Kami. Um, he's He's good, uh, he's solid, and he's going to give you another solid front row for vehicles if you want to run multiple APCs at the same time. He's not the strongest. Uh, Kamikaze is generally going to give you a bit more life uh, since Crusher's healing is more towards himself. So you either need to pair him with another healer or you have someone that's able to amp up your damage dealer or even counters to reduce the amount of heroes that are uh, dealing damage to your own. Um, if you are, I would say the only situation where you might want to pick him up is either you have plenty of hero tokens or um, he's kind of like missing a skill seven. So if you do have Kamikaze, for example, and he's not really that much developed and you have the chance to have Crusher maxed, and provided that he you have some hero tokens or you want to chance it, then Maxing Crusher is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you're going to get more out of a Max Crusher than uh, some partials, even though Kami's healing is very strong. Um, if you are taking tiles far out or garrisoning and you have sort of that damage debuff, then having him into a max status is going to help you there. And I find him better paired with, let's say, Countdown. Uh, you can run him with Caesar. But yeah, I, I kind of reserve. Uh, you can even put Heaven's Redemption together with him. Nice synergy there. And if you have Death Rider, that would make a really good uh, APC combo until you do get Kamikaze coming along. If it's not Crusher, or if you don't have Crusher, then it's someone that you can pass on. So if you don't have any copies or just one copy, you're not going to get that much more from him by having a second copy. And then we have uh, Hummingbird. Uh, I think she's going to be a good drop. I think she's one of the few within pre-SX that is good to develop. If you already have some copies of her, um, ideally at least two copies, um, and that will either awaken or her skill eight, which does really high damage. I think she's not bad. Uh, generally, I kind of reserve tokens for SX heroes considering they cost 600 tokens more and how it takes time to organically build that up. Um, but yeah, if you are kind of like lacking shooters or you have a chance of really getting your hummingbird to that max status, um, I still think she's a really solid drop with the kind of combinations that you can run her in. Uh, she is more combat skill focused, so she has a different style to Nomad, Rose Noir, um, or even like the vehicle side of Huntress and Captain Ivanov. So she's kind of more like a countdown with her skill, combat skills. So she's gonna give you something different and uh, an alternative in your combos, uh, whether that's more shooters or whether that's mixed APCs. So should you pick up your tokens for Hummingbird? Um, if you kind of have some leeway with your hero tokens or you calculate it and you think she's sort of worth the risk you're gonna get you're gonna get good stuff out of hummingbird uh, again it's completely up to you on how you want to use your tokens and and how many you have but if you decide to pick up hummingbird i still think she's a good choice finally we have s1 professional um you know 
yeah, S1. Uh, I would just say pass. Even if you have him, uh, you can to, to max status. Like he's he can still do some stuff until you get other shooters. But considering he costs the same amount as Hummingbird and Hummingbird uh, being a much more like high damage than professional, even though he's pretty solid, uh, I would just run Iron Guard in the meantime if you don't have any viable shooters uh, until you can get some from SX. Um, so yeah, he's kind of just an easy pass. His skill, his active skill seven will help. Um, with that plus 100% might and marching but honestly it's pretty niche um, that yeah if, if S1 was actually cheaper in tokens then I, it wouldn't be just a straight up pass but yeah considering it's the same as Hummingbird and not much from an Essex hero uh, your, your tokens are definitely better suited to either of the two. So that is May P2 uh, looks like we are transitioning more onto vehicles with Essex since we've had two drops of Shooter so far, Crusher being the first one. We'll see in two weeks' time who is going to come. In terms of my prediction, yeah, I kind of think it's going to be another vehicle hero. It'll be interesting whether they decide to make Kami available after Crusher, it's sort of like offering the front rows, or they're going to move more towards the mid. Um, I think Wrath might be later on. It'll be nice if it was Heaven's Redemption. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll, we'll kind of see there, but uh, yeah. Stay tuned for our next token shop, which is May P2. And uh, yeah, make sure you can uh, check out the rest of the other updates in Season 6 uh, on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Thanks a lot, Team KBA. I'll see you in the next one. That wraps up the video. If you liked it, give a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, join the Team KBA community by subscribing to my YouTube channel and check out onetechtraveler.com for more stories, articles and videos around tech, travel and gaming. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace. <laughs>